So here we have two hundreds, which we write as two, zero, zero. And when we have our two hundreds written in digits like this, we say two hundred, not two hundreds. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens, which we write as nine zero or ninety, and we have two units. So here I've got place value arrow cards, and if we put them together, that gives us two nine two. But we don't say two nine two, we say two hundred and 92. So when you have a three digit number, you have a number made out of hundreds, tens and units. Now we have 300 squares, so we have 300, then we have six tens, so we have 60, and we have four units. Now if we put those together, what do we have? We have the number 364. Now what number do we have represented here? There are 600 squares, so 600 there are four tens, so that gives us 40. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. So putting those together, we get the number 648. Now this is where it can get a little confusing so we have 400 squares, 400. We don't have any tens, we have zero tens. And we have five units. So we have the number 405. And that zero is very important. We couldn't just write the digits four and five because that would give us the number 45, which we know is four tens and five units. So we need the zero to tell us that there is zero tens in our number. Now what number do we have represented here? We have three hundreds, or three hundred, and we have no tens, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. So we have the number 307, which we write 307.